Hello and welcome back to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam and today I'm here to unbox Zombicide Gears and or Guns uh, by Simon and Gillison Games. So this is uh, the expansion to Zombicide and Dead or Alive that brings a campaign into this. Now I have not played Zombicide 2nd Edition and I know they have a campaign in that and I'm really looking forward to Sunday playing um, one of the two campaigns or both the campaigns that they have in there. But I don't own um, Zombicide 2nd Edition, but I do own this. So this is going to be my first real campaign in the Zombicide world and I'm really excited to see what they do with this. Uh, let's take a quick look at the back and for some reason they've kind of added these little sleeves on the back, which as far as I can tell are identical to the rest of it. Um, okay, so what do we get? So we're going to get 11 more miniatures in here, including a new abomination, which is good because our, our base game comes with only one abomination. So this gives us a little kind of mixture here, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, this is what we get. A couple of new extra characters. We get a whole steam system in this and a 10 mission campaign. So it's a thinner box as well. So it's not going to take up too much space on there. Obviously some stuff has been uh, punched out in transit. Uh, let's take a quick look through the rules. Okay, so 10 ID cards, one campaign sheet slash notepad, 24 sheets in there, 78 objective cards, 10 survivor miniatures, one abomination, six game tiles, double-sided, 16 dice. And we've got 14 tokens and 87 equipment cards. Okay, so a bit of story there. Chat about this guy, Anthony. Don't know why. Uh, we've got some advanced rules. So there's advanced equipment rules. Um, going full steam. There's steam dice in this. Um, refilling depleted steam equipment. So steam seems like it's some kind of resource we've got in here. New equipment traits. Knocked out rest in peace rules. My little posse. Uh, posse, note that in the Dangerous Wonders campaign, players will gather a posse of their own. This means that if their current survivor dies, a player may select a posse member as their survivor for the next mission instead. Uh, this new survivor inherits all game effects written on the campaign sheet. So it doesn't end when one of you guys dies, which is interesting. Uh, so we've got the steam gauge in here, steam tiles, steam machine. These um, these kind of things as well, nozzles, I don't know. Uh, we've got the new steam monster in here. Uh, we've got the campaign rules themselves. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that in the actual thing. Uh, talk about the setup, objective cards. And then it goes through the different missions. And I'm going to fast forward through that so I don't spoil anything. And then we've got our new skills as well in there. And once again, some uh, game round stories. So let's take a look. We've got these kind of things here. On and off. Uh, steam machines. We've got this little thing for attaching to our... Uh, steam gauge. Uh, we've got our campaign stuff here. So campaign experience points, I believe. Uh, campaign skills, bonus actions, equipment key, uh, kept and posse there. Uh, we've got our tiles. We'll get to those near the end. And everything just has just kind of popped out. Um, I'm hoping there is something to attach this um, to the nozzle. Um, so fingers crossed here. There is, it looks like they've actually thought about where stuff's going to go back, which is really nice. Um, okay, so we've got, I believe these are the different um, objective cards. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to look at these guys. I'm not going to look at these because this might, uh, this might change things up in the actual campaign. I don't know. I do not know. So, um, yeah, so I don't want to spoil this by looking at them, but they've got some uh, interesting kind of things that happen. There's quite a few of these cards in there. We do have something to attach this theme gauge, which is good. Uh, we've got a new characters over here. So we've got Anthony, uh, the brawler. We've got Bonnie, the townsfolk. Thaddeus, the gunslinger. Jean, the engineer. Gunslinger's doing a lot of time. Engineers are new. Townsfolk, Nora. Gunslinger, Lee. Engineer, Leonard. 
Then we have Marilyn, Nicholas and Richard as well. So there's a bunch more survivors we've got. Uh, we've got a carpet here. They don't tell you where these guys are supposed to go back in this time. So uh, that's a shame that's all kind of come out on me. But I think I can figure out probably where they all go. We'll see. I don't know. Well, I'll figure that off camera. Uh, so we've got some new miniatures here. And if you're just looking for some cowboy miniatures, um, they've got some really good options for you in here. What I'm really impressed with is exactly how many um, how many kind of hero characters they're giving you from the offset in this. Normally you get like six and that's what you have to deal with. Um, unless you, you know, go all in on the Kickstarter and then you've got all these boxes of miniatures you're never going to use. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's our new abomination. Uh, once again, when these guys are painted up, they, they always do look so much better. Then we have our new dice. These are real dice as opposed to the wooden dice we had last time. Um, and we've got this steam kind of value on there, for, which I guess is number one. It kind of looks like a sad face. Uh, so yeah, it's really steam nice. And then we've got some new weapons and new equipment cards. So our abomination guy, he's got a special ability. When the steam monster enters a zone, any steam nozzles in it are broken. Uh, we've got Sword Off, Schofields, and they've got these little lock symbol next to them, so I'm not quite sure what that means. Shotguns, Tomahawks, Twin Barrels, Water. So these are all the same things we had in the in the original, but with a new thing there. Uh, body Armour, uh, More Body Armour, Brawler Gloves, Gunslinger Fist, Jump Boots, Long Arm, whoop, Marksman Goggles, Sprint Boots, Steam Bottle, Steam bottle, steam bottle, steam vision goggles. So there's quite a few little different inventions they have here, uh, which is cool. There's some more bounty weapons. So we've got an uh, asymmetric tumbling pistol. Dr. Class's Clockwork Rifle, uh, Frontier Industries Rifle, Guillotine's Patriotic Sabre, Mars Troubleshooter, Revololium Pistol. Uh, and then we've got Chainsaws, Colts, Dynamite, Holy Water, Knives, Machetes, Pickaxes, Plenty of Bullets, Plenty of Shells, Remingtons, and Sabres. All these little lock symbols on. So I assume that's something to do with the campaign mode. Uh, and then finally, we have our tiles to look at. And the tiles for the base game, I was really impressed with. A really uh, lovely kind of dark west vibe they've gone for. Um, you know, it's one of these uh, times I see the tiles like this and I'm like... They often offer, you can buy tiles separately, and I never go for it, but for these, I could see how you could really create your own uh, mission using all the tiles. They're a really big Wild West kind of town. So we've got this area with a balcony up there, laundry, Romquist food and drinks. Another one there. More dead people. But this time they've got steam kind of things on them, these steam nozzles, which I assume shoots out the um, these kind of like uh, steam blast things. Ugh, that is pretty grisly. Um, not sure what used to be there, but if you're going in there, you could you could be in trouble. Uh, and then finally that one there. So that's everything you get inside. Zombicide gears and guns. Um, if you like the looks of this, and stay tuned to the channel because we will be doing, uh, first of all, Zombicide Undead or Alive, the base game. So that's 11 videos in total of me going through trying to beat each and every scenario and see how many I can beat. 
And then we will com be coming back to playing Zombicide Gears and Guns. That might be solo with you yours truly, or I might get someone along for the ride as well. Um, but yeah, so if you do want to see some more Wild West content in the Zombicide universe, then stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave some comments below if you'd like to see me paint these up and put them on the Instagram, um, or if you'd like to see these painted up for the campaign themselves. If you're not really bothered, then let me know as well, and I'll just get straight into filming stuff. Um, anyway, I've been the ever-excited Adam. Until next time, guys, stay safe or die rolling.